list just stands. The son of the mutated bunny has just been caught and has been placed in Curtis's new Supermax prison without bail. Bunny is convicted for the deaths of over 34 students from the ages of 12 to 18 in the last two years. The creator of the bunny is still on the loose. If you have any leads on this, please contact your local authorities immediately. Thank you. The bunny. I must have that bunny. Perfect for finishing my collection. <laughs> Perfect. Right next to me. Yes. Yes. And I know just the person. Yes, Mr. Cruz. Are you in need of my service again? I need a bunny. A bunny? Yes, I'm talking about a real bunny. I don't care what it takes. I'm sure we can arrange something. And I need it now. Good day. Yes, sir. I understand. <laughs> Perfect. Have you become so obsessed with playing Pokemon Go that you had to steal my phone and start playing on it? Bro, I already told you, they logged me out of my account once I got past level 1000. Yeah, there's a thing, it's called obsession, and uh... Wait, 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 wait. Got him. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Yeah, I believe we need an intervention with you, Zach. It, I think it's gone too far. Oh, hey, remember old Jeffy back from, uh, back from the old days he used to hang out? Jeffy, Jeffy Cruz? Is that his last name? I, I can't so. I can't remember. The Supermax prison had a uh, jailbreak and a lead suspect. No. Tonight on the Covington Local News, host by Guy Islam and co-host and written by Chester Payne and Willy Wop with the sports. On tonight's news, a psycho was found hanging missing posters in the woods. And when the dissing campers PDA goes a little too far. And pandemonium has broken out in coach in Supermax prison. Hi, I'm Guy Iceland. And I'm Chester Payne. And welcome to the Covington Local News. Big news in the science world today. A new feline species has been discovered on Mars. Wow, isn't that something? Yeah. Shortly after though, due to some unforeseen circumstances and possible user error, the species was run over. Scientists were reported in saying that they were very excited about this new discovery, but unfortunately, curiosity had killed the cat. Humanity. That really is too bad to hear. On further news, Anarchy has reached Covington's new Supermax prison. Over 20 prisoners have escaped, and one being the very dangerous genetically modified bunny rabbit. Security footage has been sent in to us from the local prison, but I will warn you, the footage is very, very disturbing. After seeing that video, I wouldn't want to come across any of those guys. Sure wouldn't. Those are some bad people. Mm-hmm. Shortly after this incident, there was reports of the football field being attacked at the sports complex. We have a news reporter out on the scene, our very own sports anchor, Willie Wobb. What do you got for us, Willie? It's the weirdest thing. I get out here and they're all gone already I don't know what happened um, they said not to come out here but due to my know-how of uh, 
getting right on the story, I believe. Um, wait. Oh, it was canceled due to due to what? Oh, okay. Um, apparently, a small boy, possibly six foot tall, about 350 pounds. That's roughly 200 pounds in weight. Uh, he got mauled by a small. Oh, excuse me. Large mutated bunny rabbit. My phone's ringing. Who is this? Hang on. I gotta take this. Um, apparently, uh, that stupid bunny went and took my dog. God, I still have a sneaker kid. He just took my dog and stuff. I just got him back. World. I need to wash this. Man. Next up, local townsperson came across a very disturbing scene. He decided to get his phone out and record the imagery. So I was walking in the woods and I came across this as this freakiest stuff I've ever seen. What is it? Missing people hung up. This is beyond creepy. Right in the middle of the woods. What is this? What? There's another target. This is this is so weird. This is so weird. We found this blanket, t-shirt. What the heck? I hear something. I hear something. Okay. Boy, that was creepy. Yes, it was. I'm sure glad my face wasn't on any of those. Indeed. Our next story. A couple has been reported as saying using very extreme uses of public displays of affection. I can honestly say I'm scarred for life. You looking off a fine by the fire tonight, sweetheart. You my little apple dumpling. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Maybe we could give a little kiss or two in the woods tonight. That's cute. I think you're looking good tonight. I would kiss you anywhere. Mm. Doesn't kids matter. Are, those kids it doesn't are watching, matter. But... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Mm. Well, if there's any indication to my uh, co-host here by the look on his face, I'd say it's time for a quick commercial break. I'm Coach Charles. Welcome to my football camp. You want to join? We can throw. We can catch. I can teach you how. I've been a coach for 20 years. And you want to know something? If they can't get it done, I find a way. No matter what. Kids, I've screamed in their faces, and they finally got it done right. I'm always here. I don't live at home. Come join my football camp. It's amazing, and you won't forget it. Go along. Where did you catch that? Well, this just in. Two fugitives that escaped recently from the Covington Supermax prison have been spotted. They have been spotted under the Iron Bridge in the Covington Park. So, if you go to the park, please keep your distance. This just in. Our local sportsman, Willy Wob, and the local cameraman have been attacked. Oh my goodness. Due to the convenience of our cameraman leaving his camera rolling, we have footage of this attack. I don't know. Sorry about your dog, Willie. They ain't stupid about it. Took my dog. <laughs> and why you got me make fun of my dog? Oh, that feels so nice, bud. Thanks. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, that did not look good at all. Oh, it did not. But that's okay. I didn't like him very much anyway. Anyway, 
Well, there are several prisoners still on the loose. So, please be careful. And be aware of this man. He is very, very dangerous. Well, I'm Guy Islam. And I'm Chest Hurt Payne. And thanks for watching the Covington Local News. Good night. Bro, don't you think those guys look a lot like us on the news? Nope. Ooh, I don't know what you're saying. I'm gonna play spin the ball with myself. Ha <laughs> I win. I'm gonna run my Pokemon news, baby. <laughs>